Welcome to the video. So Chrome OS 131 is out now, so you can go ahead and get your Chromebooks updated. I've posted today to Threads, Blue Sky and X, just showing you a couple of the updates included, and I thought I'd do a quick video here too. So the first one I'm going to show you is the safety reset. So this is a bit like the Power Wash. So if you search for Power Wash within settings, you'll now see there's this new option below it, safety reset. So remove unwanted pop-ups, fix network issues, and more by restoring your settings to the default values, to the safe defaults, basically. So you can go ahead and do this without blowing away your user accounts and completely factory resetting your Chromebook if you've run into an issue or if you just want to clean things up and reset things. So it's going to help with problems like extensions, network settings, anything you may have changed. So you can go ahead and click safety reset and you've now got the pop-up here just giving you a bit more info on that. Um, just going to resize it and zoom in. It is formatted a little bit oddly. Um, but you can see here, yeah, so just expanding on that blurb that it's given us before. So yeah, it's going to turn off extensions, it's going to reset the network settings, and it's going to basically put you back to a known safe state. So tabs, files, cookies, and history, importantly, though, won't be changed, so you can still clear those in the usual way. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to have to pause the recording for a second, hit the save to reset button and then show you the next UI that pops up after it's done that reset. Okay, so I've just completed the reset, it's really quick, and then the next window that pops up is here, telling me that the safety reset has been completed and that my Chromebook's been reset to the safe defaults. Um, and then it's giving this summary here and just gives you an easy way to get back in and manage any of these points. So you've got the shortcut, save the, your extensions, or through to your input method, your network settings, and then finally in the Chrome settings here, I can get back into things like the site content and the startup settings as well. So it's making it really handy to manage. So yeah, that's the first new feature that I wanted to show you. The second new feature I'm going to show you is an accessibility feature. So back in the settings menu, and we're gonna pick accessibility, of course, from the left-hand side. And then we're going to go down to audio and captions and click on that there, second from the bottom. And you're going to see this new option for flash notifications. So flash the screen when you receive notifications. Use flash notifications with caution if you're light sensitive. So it's going to do very much what it says there. Whenever you get a notification, it's just going to flash the screen. So if we turn that on, you're then going to get a second option in the menu to basically pick the color. So if I click on the drop down here, I'm going to pick blue just as an example, and then I can hit the preview in just a second to show you what this is going to look like. So I'm just going to click preview now, and you'll see, yeah, it's just this light flashing of the screen in the color. I'll click it again now. So just a useful accessibility feature to know about. There are some other updates in 131 to things like management of Chrome OS Flex. So again, maybe consider a follow on X Threads or Blue Sky if you want to see more on that. But that's all for now. Let me know in the comments what you think of these features. Cheers.